But how this will influence our relationships, our society, and other things in our life, which is based on norms and very old patterns? Can it be the common mind state of humanity, or or it just will be individual? When you say, will it just be individual? then I have to say that it's not about it just being individual because any time, any spiritual practice is imposed top-down on any society or any group, it becomes religion. It then... it then coagulates into a sticky mess of doctrines, of codes of conduct, of morals, of messy stuff, and actually deviates the entire process into a power and control game. So, for a spiritual seeker, it cannot be actually of concern what is going to happen to society because it is when you know self that those around you know self. It is only when you know self that those around you know it. You cannot know self and through that knowledge impose it. It has always been a dilemma for spiritual seekers, mainly those seekers that come from cultures or that have grown up in cultures that are influenced by the Abrahamic religions, that somewhere within them there is always this need for a sort of a movement or a sort of a world-changing system that is actually your inheritance that is making you wonder something like that. And while it has some merit as caring for humankind, underlying it is pure ego. Because you want to transform all of humankind. And when you're transforming all of humankind, you don't have to bother about transforming yourself. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. <laughs> Spirituality is not about creating religions, it's about me, myself and me. In that sense, it's very egoistic. You move towards your soul and when you experience the soul, which you, I feel, do already, go with its movement and see what happens around you. Whatever moves from inside out will grow in illumination and whatever comes from outside in, from top down, will just start dazzling everything and blind everything. That's what happens. And we've seen it in... we've seen it in the history of humankind. Yes, this spirituality certainly is the spirituality of the future, no question about it. The surrender to the soul, the surrender to love, that is the spirituality of the future because the the forays into the cosmic experience and into, you know, transcendental states is now explored and known. And the cutting-edge spirituality is now moving inward into the very cellular consciousness, into actually thisness becoming aware of itself increasingly. So when this is aware of itself, 
then the one next to it will also become aware of itself. But it moves bottom up, it cannot go the other way, it won't. And if there is change to happen in society, it will happen bottom up. You know yourself, you act from that, your colleague in the office feels that change and it moves that way. And certainly if at one point a book is written about what is spoken about here, then if ten people read it, they will be inspired to make some change within themselves. That is still not top-down, it is still bottom-up. It is, in a sense, a lonely position, but you're not alone because you are with the Master of your being. Many people experience it as a sort of loneliness. I know about this, but the world doesn't know about it. The world doesn't need to know about it. When the world has to know about it, the world will know about it. That is called surrender. Just being in a state of surrender. For twenty years I was talking about this to ten people, knowing very well that it will bring relief to thousands because they just feel their soul and they feel, Phew, now I can be here, I don't have to be enlightened and all of that. I knew all of that, but you have to contain this when you are in that process, you have to contain it, you have to contain that, that, that sense of suffering that is sometimes experienced because you know about the ignorance around. But even that is an expression of ego. So you turn away from that suffering into surrender and say, first this system has to know itself and then we'll see about the next system. Surrender, that's what surrender is. There's one hand there, I have to take her first, then you, and then you, and then you. 